All right, guys, so today we're gonna double click on the We Create Make It. I'm gonna show you guys how to use the main Discover tab here for all of the projects that come with We Create. If you're a VIP member, you can get their monthly subscription or yearly subscription. I'll show you all of that in just a second. With that said, if you're just opening this for the first time, it will give you this beginner's guide here. We're gonna just click the little exit button. I don't need to learn that. I showed you that in a previous video. If you haven't seen that, check that out. You'll also get these little advertisement, um, like a sale that they're having. You can just check this box and don't get a pop-up every seven days. Uh, right now, I'm gonna leave that just for future videos to show you guys. Um, other than that, you are presented with the catalog here. So the catalog, is a little confusing to navigate. So I wanted to share with you guys um, how to navigate this. Basically, it goes by topics here. So you can do all of these topics at the top, or if you scroll through, it'll do topics. So here's Christmas, and then you'd have to scroll to the right to go to the next page in Christmas here. Same thing with all designs. I always like to go to all designs and then just scroll endlessly to see every design in the catalog. I know it's kind of a hard uh, pain to navigate, but you can't just scroll down endlessly like you can with most websites. So just keep that in mind. You'll go to your category and then you'll just uh, scroll to the right to see the next thing here. So you have a huge array of designs here that you can go through. Um, the other thing I wanted to share with you, you can go up to the top search bar here. A lot of people don't know this. You can actually just type in like Mother's Day. I noticed they're doing like a giveaway of like the Vista machine for uh, like Mother Day uh, projects. So a lot of people have been coming here and just doing standard ones that are already in their premium subscription. And I did see them give away a Vista already. So just a heads up on that. That's why I'm using this as an example here. But basically, um, it shows you this start creating. This is based on your search is this start creating um, tab here. So it'll give you three rows and then it goes back to Christmas, all designs, etc. But you have to do the same thing where you scroll to the right based on that segment here. So let's say we don't like any on this page. We'll go to the next page here. We're gonna use this one as an example. As you can see, I already bookmarked this and liked it. So you can like it and then you can bookmark it or you can just bookmark it or like it, whichever one you want. And then if you click on the picture, it'll open a new tab or you can add it straight to the canvas. So we're gonna click on the picture to show you this new tab here. Same thing here, you can bookmark, like, or share it. Um, you can print off the uh, description if you wanna print that off. And it shows you the materials that it recommends using. Uh, in this case, three millimeter or one eighth inch colored plywood. So what we're gonna do is click make it. This will add it to our canvas. And as you can see, there's actually two different canvases here. This is going to be the, the colored um, letters that you cut out. And this is going to be the out, outline of those letters and the background. So you got two different canvases. You can print these one at a time. The reason why it does two different canvases here is because it uh, is not big enough to fit on one sheet for all of the design in one, one go. So just keep that in mind. So you can print this off with all, and then color these whatever color you want. And then you can print this off, color this black, and then leave this uncolored in the background so it pops, so it looks just like that design earlier. And that's how you use um, the basic designs here. Now we're gonna dive a little bit deeper that most people don't know, is you can actually go to the My Stuffs tab. So in the My Stuffs tab, you have the bookmark option, and that's where all your bookmark stuff goes. So you can bookmark as many as you want that you want to reprint over and over, and you can get it right from here. The other cool thing is, is you have this recent project tab. This shows you everything that you recently did. You've probably seen all my other videos on demonstrations that I've done on this. This is kind of uh, my computer that I do all my demonstration videos on, so you've probably seen me already mess with a lot of these designs. Um, but this shows you everything that you've done in the past so far with your machine. Um, next up you have purchased. So if you ever purchased a design that was not like through the VIP premium and you purchased it individually, that'll show up here. Last but not least, you have your user center. This is gonna show all of your personal information. Um, so I'm gonna block out a lot of this. But um, once you open this up, it'll show you your member status, your email account, order number, device serial number, and then if you want to sign up with the premium membership, you can do like monthly, quarterly, or yearly. 
and then it shows you the benefits down here. And then last but not least, you can click on your icon up top here and you can activate that VIP membership from here or you can get back to this user center over here uh, from here as well and then your basic settings. Um, other than that, in a nutshell, that is everything um, to do with the actual recreate um, landing page here or the discover page and their little file shop here that comes with the, the program. I had a lot of people asking how to use it, how to navigate it, and that's pretty much how you navigate it. You can also check out like buy materials. So if you want to go like uh, wood projects only, you can do that, um, or paper, acrylic, leather, etc. You you know the gist here. I think you get the gist by now. But that is exactly how you navigate this tab. Hopefully this helped you guys out, and we'll catch you guys in the next one.